guys so I'm back with another video and today we're gonna be cooking so I'm gonna be making some type of shrimp cilantro tomato something okay I just do this together real quick real quick and simple but it was super super good so I'm just pretty much showing you the things that you need and the things that I'm gonna be using in this video so I have the olive oil. This is really good. This is it's expensive, but it's really good olive oil. It's not that bitter, bland taste that you get from the grocery store for like five dollars. I have some garlic. I have a um a onion. I have my cilantro. I have my favorite knife. Favorite knife. I can't really remember what the name is, but it's my favorite knife. So I'm taking my garlic press and slicer, and I got this from Sir La Top. I know it looks like it says Sir La Table, but it's not. It's, I think, French. So it says Sir La Top. And I'm just showing you the slicer and the presser. And you can just take it out and turn it around, whichever one you want to use. And I'm going to be using the presser. So I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to push it down. And all the garlic will be in the little tray when you take it out. So this was super simple and easy. I just, I love this thing. I love it. Like it's way faster than dicing up garlic pieces yourself. And this is what it looks like when it came out. So you can just take this tray out and then you can take the excess garlic out, you know, if you want to. And then on the other side, you can just take the rubber piece off and then that's the excess garlic like the skin and all that stuff that we didn't want in the garlic so now I'm just taking my knife and I'm gonna just chop up my cilantro I'm gonna switch my knife because that one was a little too small and it would have gave me more work to do so I took my copper knife and I am just mincing up my cilantro and I'm just gonna go ahead and just throw that to the side once I finish mincing it up now cilantro adds flavor to every single thing um, in my country, Trinidad and Tobago, we call it bandania or basapshani. Um, but in America here, they have, uh, cilantro. So now I'm just taking some cherry tomatoes and I am going to roll those to the side and I am just going to, uh, start slicing these into four pieces. I tried to do something different here, but it didn't come out great. Um, when I went to back, well, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> when I went to, uh, what's that place called? It was a restaurant. I can't remember what the name is. When I, once I remember, I'll tell you. So I'm just going to take this onion. I'm going to cut the butt off of it. And then I'm just going to uh, slice these in real thin pieces. And I'm just going to use half of an onion. Not all of it. Now I'm just going to be taking my olive oil and I am going to apply that to my saucepan or frying pan, however you want to call it. And I'm just going to go ahead and start throwing those onions in there. And I'm just going to let the onions caramelize and brown for a little bit. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw the garlic in there also. So I have my garlic and I have my onions and I have my olive oil and I'm just going to stir that up. And I'm just going to go ahead and let that brown a little bit. Now, what I should have done, I should have roasted my tomatoes. That's what I should have done instead of placing them in the pan. But it came out really great. It really did. So now I'm just going to go ahead and throw my cilantro in there with the tomatoes. And I'm just going to let that cook a little bit. So the restaurant name is Outback Steakhouse. That's what it's called, Outback Steakhouse. And um, we went there maybe a couple weeks ago and um, we had got these grilled shrimp and the tomatoes, these tomatoes came with it, but they were like roasted and it was so good. And I was just like, hmm, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and buy some of these tomatoes. 
and I bought some, but I thought it was going to come out the way that it came out at the restaurant, but it didn't, but it's okay. So now I just added my strip in there and I used the tiger strip because they're a lot bigger and um, when you cook them, they don't really shrink as if you was to use the frozen strip. So this looks so good already and it's not even done. This looks like it belongs on top of a pasta. That's what I should have made. I should have made um, some lemon and pepper garlic strip. Um, pasta so I just take my broccoli and I'm going to season it with my favorite seasoning which is the roasted garlic and herb from McCormick and I'm just going to allow that to cook I didn't wash out the pan or anything like that because the flavor from the shrimp I wanted to be on the broccoli so here you have it this is what it looks like and it tasted really 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 good I wanted to put um, rice with it from uh, Uncle Ben's but I didn't really want a starch because I'm trying to do this whole diet thing or lifestyle thing but it really really was good and if you do try it at home just send me a picture or tag me on Instagram thank you for watching guys